In this video, we'll go over updating existing records in Zoho CRM. The process is that you give it the module name, the record ID, and the new values that you want to have as a map. The gotcha with it is that for some reason, they've decided to make record ID a string rather than a number. So if you go in here, you'll notice that if I do zoho.crm.updateRecord, it requires a string here, whereas getRecordById wants a number begin. This means that if you pass in the ID like this, you'd need to go so let's do update response equals zoho.crm dot update record potentials and then contact ID that doesn't really make sense dot to string I was playing around with that I'll change it back to contacts rather than having the normal integer version you need to convert it to a string and then you give it a map what I normally do I fetch the record initially using get record by ID and then I might do contact record dot put some field updated the old value and the new value. The other thing you can do as well if you want to be extra careful you can say update field map equals and you create a map like that some field updated and then it will only have the specific fields that you want to update in practice, I find it easier to do it this way to fetch the current record and then to update that record map before putting it in here. And then we'd follow the usual process of doing info, update response at the end. Again, you need to be careful about using the correct names. You can watch the videos before where I talked about custom module one name rather than HC82 name, that sort of thing. It's the same exact process. The only real difference between creating records and updating records is that you have to specify the ID. Otherwise, it's basically the same. You give it a map that will have the field values that you want to see in that record and let it go.